Hey guys, Sean from Living Seeds, your seed guru. So the title of this video is Aphids are the best pests. And it's 100% correct. They are literally the best pests. They, they know and they have multiple ways of attacking your crops. So we're standing inside one of our tomato tunnels. They've just started to put the, the training strings up for, for our tomato plants. And this is the season when our tomato plants are literally this size. This is the season that we start um, our aphid control. So inside this tunnel, there are about 1,500 tomato plants. And I can guarantee you that there are aphids inside this tunnel already. Aphids, um, they, uh, um, they started infesting the plants when they were inside our seedling tunnel. And right now the aphid population is incredibly low. And this is the time that you want to actually attack the aphids. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you information as to how aphids attack your plants and how, how phenomenal these pests are. Um, and then in a couple of other videos, we'll, we'll be shooting a couple of other videos, actually a whole series of videos on pests this year. And I will be showing you how we control aphids in, inside our tunnels like this to ensure that we have zero aphid damage on our plants. So when you look at an aphid, there are, there are multiple species of aphid. There are literally, um, there's about 40 economically um, important aphid species for, for the home gardener or even for the commercial farmer. And you have a couple of aphid species that are phenomenally productive and um, so I'm not going to actually talk about individual aphid species because the information that I'm giving you is applicable to literally all of the aphid species that you will encounter and the amazing thing is the majority of aphids that you encounter in your garden are female aphids and they can be um, winged aphids or wingless aphids and it's actually quite amazing. So what happens is typically the, um, the early aphids in a season are, are wingless aphids. They, um, they will either um, be alive and um, they, will, they will carry through the winter season. So, so aphids give live birth. So it's called viviparous. And what happens is the female aphid gives birth and this is an aphid that has not been mated so she's technically a virgin aphid and she gives live birth to a clone of herself now if you think about that that is terrifying what's even more terrifying is that she can give live birth to a clone of herself and that clone already has a baby inside of her okay so it's it's mind-blowing it's it's the mother with a clone of herself, she gives birth to the, that clone, and that clone, as she's given birth, is pregnant with another clone of herself, which would be a clone of the original one. So that in itself is terrifying. The, what's really terrifying about it is that any um, diseases, viruses that um, the aphid, that the, the original aphid has, those viruses are passed down from generation to generation and certain aphid species like the peach aphid can actually um, uh, uh, transmit up to a hundred different plant viruses um, and i'm not saying that each aphid has a hundred viruses but it can transmit they are known to transmit up to a hundred different plant viruses which is terrifying so uh, that's the first thing so if they're carrying a plant virus it's transmitted through the clones as, as it goes down the line. If you have an aphid that has a resistance to um, any chemical, any pesticide that's in the environment, um, that resistance is transferred through the clones because even if it's 10 generations later, that, that 10th generation will have the same resistance as the original aphid um, that appeared in your garden with the resistance. So, yeah, aphids can give birth, live birth, to anything from about three to ten clones of itself every single day for a couple of weeks. And if you think about that, those are terrifying numbers. Um, I think the, the, the fastest 
um, doubling of a population has been 2.7 days. So in less than three days, you went from 100 aphids to 200 aphids, 200 aphids to 400 aphids. So very quickly they can they can um, they can get out of hand in your garden. So that is the female that is giving live birth. What happens is if you have a plant and there is a colony of aphids on the plant and all of a sudden what happens is that colony explodes and there's an overcrowding of aphids on that plant. What happens is the female starts giving birth to winged aphids. So she gives birth to clones of herself that have got wings and these guys can fly. So they can fly short distances. So the aphid is, is able to smell a plant in distress about a meter away. Um, or what they can do is the aphids can catch a thermal and they can go up in the thermal and they can travel hundreds of kilometers. That's also terrifying. So it's, it's a case of this is now becoming a huge issue, especially with these aphids. The next thing that these aphids can do is she can give um, live birth to males. And what happens is she gives live birth to males. Normally what happens is um, you, have, um, you have two types of, two main types of aphids. You have aphids that have what's called a homocycle and you have aphids that have what's called an anhomocycle. A homocycle means a complete life cycle that the, the live aphids don't overwinter. So it goes from an egg, the egg, um, it, it, it becomes a young, a young aphid, the female aphid, um, um, it creates males, the males mate with the, with the female, they, the whole population dies and the eggs overwinter and the cycle starts again in, in spring. With, um, with anhomocycle aphids, they can do that and they can actually overwinter as live aphids overwinter and they don't have to lay eggs, but they can if need be. So what happens is if, if the environment becomes too bad, it becomes too cold, if there's no food available, what happens is that the female aphid will actually lay eggs, those eggs will go dormant, um, and when, when conditions improve, the eggs hatch, and now you have these new aphids that are able to replicate as well. Very, very often what happens is the aphids will actually overwinter on um, a woody plant. So for example, the peach aphid will attack a whole a whole host of plants i think it's there's a list of like 700 plants that it'll attack but what it'll what it'll do is is over winter the female will fly to um, one of the stone fruit trees lay eggs on the stone fruit tree and those eggs will overwinter as soon as the as the tree starts putting out spring growth those eggs hatch and the aphid cycle starts all over again so guys it's it's a case of um, it's critically important for you to understand that these, this is how aphids actually reproduce. And the way that they reproduce or the, the way that they are able to reproduce ensures that they are a highly successful pest um, in your garden. And it's a case of, I mentioned the, the green peach aphid. And the green peach aphid doesn't only attack peaches. The, the tobacco aphid doesn't only attack tobaccos. The black bean aphid doesn't only attack black beans. Oh, well, black beans. The black bean aphid, the aphid is black. It doesn't only attack um, bean species. They have preferred species, but they are able to um, attack a whole variety of, of plant species. And something else as well, just talking about the different colors, you've got the green peach and the black bean aphid. The color of the aphid doesn't mean, um, it, it, it's not a sure indicator because you can have a green peach aphid that's red or a pinky color. So it's, it, it's, not, um, it's not a direct indication. There's a number of other things that you need to look at. However, the cool thing is that Living Seeds gives you a range of ways to, um, to control aphids. And like we do now in, inside our tomato tunnels and inside our pepper tunnels, we actually release um, beneficial insects to prevent uh, an aphid buildup and an aphid breakout inside these tunnels. Guys, I hope it's been really, really interesting for you. If you found the information in this video um, to be 
uh, to be useful to yourself, we've got a subscribe button down here. Please subscribe to um, our YouTube channel. We are going to run this series. We are going to run through a whole lot of information on pests. We're going to be giving you literally an information dump and teaching you how to control pests in your garden so you're not left pulling your hair out because you've lost an entire season due to one or other pest in your garden. Guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it.